Hi guys, this is Unrack from exoslimits.com and unrackpictures.com. Um, I had some requests about the tutorial to make uh, by the an effect that Hype Williams use in music videos. Um, I'm gonna show you the effect. Uh, I this is a normal Offspring video a video clip, and uh, I just I did that effect on it. So here you can see it. It's not original. I made this. Okay, that's it. So as you see, it's a pretty effect. Uh, so let's get started now. Uh, what you need is uh, a video clip. Uh, you just need one, or you can use two if you like. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna take the same uh, clip, and I'm just gonna use it two times. Okay. Uh, so you just drag it to your timeline. Okay. Then you cut out a little piece of it. It's just for example. So you take what you need. Okay. Okay. So this is the video clip. Um, now what we're gonna do to start uh, is we're gonna duplicate it. So we're gonna copy, Control C, stands for copy. And we're gonna paste it in video two, and we're gonna paste it in video three. So, so you've got uh, three video layers. Um, you can also take uh, two of the same, and then one from another clip or something else. Okay, but I'm gonna take uh, the same uh, video as you see. Uh, I'm gonna make it different by zooming in, like you saw in my uh, example. Okay, so. Uh, we're gonna start with the effect four point garbage map, as you see here. You can find it under uh, video effects, keying, and then four point garbage map. So you just drag it to the first uh, video layer, and you drag it to the second video layer. But we're gonna start with the first, of course. Okay, so if you select it and you go to effect control, okay, you should see your four point garbage map right there. Okay, as you see, it's already um, being based right here at the lines. Um, so you're gonna give it some coordinates. Um, the top left, we're gonna bring it down. Okay, so we're gonna cut out like uh, 300, for example. Um, oh yeah, um, put the first two out. That you that you can see it better. Okay, um, and the top right, we're gonna bring it to 300. Okay, so this is the first. So this is the down layer. Okay. Now we're gonna put this eye out, and we're gonna take the um, the second layer. We're gonna do the same with them. We're gonna make an upper uh, banner. So we're gonna bring the uh, bottom right. We're gonna bring that down to 300. Take the same chords as the uh, top coordinates. Okay, so 300 and 300. Okay. Now if I uh, uh, atom both, you see it's like uh, nothing is cut. Okay, so um, well that's good to begin, but now we're gonna make we're gonna split them to uh, from from each other. I'm gonna do that by using the motion. So let's start with the uh, down to the bottom layer. Okay, you can minimize this uh, four point garbage map. So you just open your motion and. Uh, we're gonna change the position. Okay, let's say minus 140. So we're gonna make a hundred of it. As you see, oh no, sorry, um, <laughs> that was my my mistake. Um, so the bottom as they go down. So we're gonna do plus 140. So we're gonna make it 380 of it. Yeah, that's better. And we're gonna do the same for the upper layer, but then we're gonna bring it up. So we're going to do a minus 140, which brings us to 100. There we go. We just split it. Okay. And now we're going to handle the upper. Okay. Um, so we're going to enable it. There you go. Um, so you can use any clip you want for this. Okay. I'm just going to take the same. Um, we're going to again. We're going to drag the four-point garbage map on it. So we need it on all the layers. Okay. But here we're gonna cut uh, the middle out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the top left down, let's say to 200. Same thing for the other side, to 200. And as you can see, there is the other layer. 
and uh, then I'm going to bring the bottom right down, not to 200. Yes, we're going to bring it. No, not to 200, to 400. Sorry, and the other one also to 400. So um, the hive is um, 200 in total. Now, as you see, we got some space, some black space between this, and uh, we're just going to zoom in. So it's not the same, okay? Uh, this doesn't really kind of give it a better, cooler look. We're just gonna scale it. I just see if I scale it, uh, you see, it gives some cool effect. Uh, so make always make sure that the middle effect is on the top, because uh, it's not cool if you got the bottom or the the upper the, the bottom or the upper layer on your main uh, clip. Okay, you can try if you like that. You can try it, of course, but I don't think that's cool. Okay, so just place it. Play with your position, your motion. Okay, to place it a bit better. Okay, you can zoom in as much as you want. It doesn't have to fit perfectly. Okay, you can overlap a bit. Okay, there we go. That's it. Um, well, I like you saw in my video, I gave this uh, some blue effect. Uh, it's from the XS Pro 2.0 package. Um, but I'm not gonna do this right now because my PC is not good and uh, you won't see the preview window. Okay, I have to export it uh, fully. Okay, but I think uh, this helped everyone. So I help this helped a bit. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna play it. I hope my preview window can... Yeah, you see it very laggy. Okay, well this is a very nice effect. Yeah. Well, this was it. Uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial and see you on uh, accesslimits.com and unrackpictures.com. Thank you for watching.